Hi, I'm Sandy. I work in Perennials and I've been here about 16 years. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about some shade perennials and some monochromatic perennials. So right here we have a nice texture. This is called Jack Frost Forget-Me-Not. This adds nice texture to your garden and also the deer and rabbits don't care for it as much because it's got a really rough sandpapery type texture to it. Here we have a really nice astilbe that carries into from July through September, October, the Delft Lace astilbe. And the height on that is 20, 24 in height, 18, 24 in width. And this on the tag, on the back of our tags, will tell you how far to space them, when it's July through August, bloom time, and the zone. Then a little bit about it on the back of the tags. We have another nice uh, still bee, or uh, an enemy, I should say. This is called Satin Doll, 8 to 10 in height, 16 to 18 in width, and 14 to 18 in spacing. Beautiful July through October. This one has a nice pink flower. It's a zone four, so that works really nice with some of the other textures you have here. This one here is called Lungwort. It also pairs nice with the Jack Frost Brunera and this one in the spring this is more of a spring bloomer so this would be like June July has a nice pink blue purple flower to it and has kind of a pink stem to it a little bit so these are really nice pairings together even with a, with the hostas you can pair them with so right here in front of me I have some more shade perennials that give you a lot of color in your garden, we have here is going to be another of the lungwort, and this one is going to be the this is a trivi, which is a blue pink flower, also a spring bloomer. We have which is nice in the fall, this is epimedium, which turns a nice burgundy in the fall and has a nice little flower there that adds nice color in the fall. This is a strangia, which is a really nice color too. It gets a little bit taller and this adds, pairs nicely with some of the corabels we have. So you can add some color to this one. This is a little bit more height. This is going to be shorter, about 8 to 10, 12 in height. We have so many different colors. This is a nice one to pair too. Um, I like this. Uh, this is the ferns with a little bit of a pink tone to the stem, which actually looks nice with some of the other pink tones we have up here. Then we have here is a nice fall one. This is a September, October one. This is Hot Lips Turtle Head, and it's going to have like a, I would, it's a fuchsia pink flower to it. Kind of a snapdragon look that's really nice with some of these other corabels and etc that we have. Another nice thing to put in your garden is going to be the stairway to heaven and it has this bluish purple flower to it but this has a beautiful texture to add to your garden. A little variegation to it which is nice. Then we have one of my favorite corabels is going to be actually it's a heucarella and this one and this is going to be six to eight in height and 24 in width to 30. this one fills out really nicely and pairs up really nice too you can see the variegation in the deep tone there with the yellow and then with this obsidian corabel dark obsidian it adds a nice color if you have a dark day this really brightens it up here's another nice texture one with it which would be kind of a oak leaf look to it this one happens to be black taffeta and about 8 to 12 in height and then we have over here would be your And then for a ground cover, this is really nice, and you could pair it also with some of these dark colors. 
This one is going to be the black scallop, a juga. This is a good spreader, low ground cover that um, has a little purple flower to it. All the ajugas have a light purple flower to them. There's several different ones. There's Chocoholic, there's Burgundy Glow ajuga, which is really kind of a pink and gray, which I'll show you later uh, that I have potted. So these are some of the fall colors that you can add to your perennial shade garden.